In this video, we'll explore the process of recreating this gradient facade using Grasshopper. Let's begin. First, let's draw an L-shaped polyline with dimensions of 28 by 28 meters. Feel free to choose any shape you prefer. Next, we'll convert this polyline into surface. Simply click and drag the sphere icon to extrude the shape. Now we can open up Grasshopper and bring it into it. While the geometry is selected, drop a brut container. Then right click on the container and select set one brut. Once we've referenced the polished surface, we can hide the original geometry by pressing Ctrl plus Using the deconstruct brut component, we will explode the polished surface into smaller pieces. On each face, we create triangular panels using the triangle panel B component, which can be found by installing the lunchbox. Now we can set the U and V divisions by connecting a number slider. Next, we apply a gradient effect where the panels close to some geometry will scale down gradually. To achieve this, I will add a scale component. The center of scaling goes to the area component, which gives us the centroid of each panel. For the factors, we pull the centroids towards some attractor geometry, which will be our attractor. Place points and extrude them in the Z direction. Reference them using curve containers. Connect the curve to geometry. From this, we need the distances, which can be larger numbers. We will remap them to new domains using the remap numbers component. The source domain will be connected to the bounds and passed to the distances. Flatten the inputs to obtain one domain for both faces. The target will be connected to the construct domain component and number slider can be used for both inputs, representing the minimum and maximum scale values. Now we can apply the map values as scaling factors. This will result in the panels closest to the curve scaling down. Next, we create surfaces between the original surface and the scaled versions. Use the merge component to combine both sets of panels. Graph both inputs so that we can perform operations on corresponding panels. Finally, we can generate surfaces from both sets by lofting them together. You can now bake the resulting geometry to save it as a separate file. Furthermore, by connecting it to a custom preview component, you can visualize the geometry and assign custom colors. You can control the direction of the gradient by adjusting the position of the attractor curve. You can also control the minimum and maximum scaling factors by adjusting the target domains. By referencing multiple curves, you can have multiple attractors. You can duplicate the previous curve by holding down Alt and dragging it, and this time reference both curves. This way, you can reference both curves and position them differently to achieve different effects. For the final Grasshopper file, it is available on the Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.